A lot to unpack in this one video from who I am, how I spent $5,000 at one garage sale, and going to an estate sale where a Hollywood movie was filmed at. There's a lot to go on here. My name is Tyler Stubbs, or also known as Garage to Profit. It's been right under two months of me jumping into this space and really kind of going full fledged. So this is my video to recap what I've kind of been doing over the last two months and just what it's been about. It's been a super interesting and fun experience learning more about just back in the day what things were and now just like looking at how people are bringing the nostalgia of their lives back into um, the items they're purchasing and wanting in the market so it's just a great little experience to take something that is in someone's garage that has no value and is useless to them at, at, at a certain point and taking that and taking it and, and putting it into someone else's lives that actually will value or see or use that item in a better way. So let's go ahead and jump into the loot that I was able to pick up. I mean, insane. It's, um, at least for me, this is, this is the second garage sale that I've been to. So we'll see what we uncover here but it's, it's a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into it and um, explain some of the things I got here. Starting with just a ton of marble. I mean, I haven't even been able to get through all of this. The most exciting one that I've seen so far is this Ted Williams. It's a FLIR set. It's the early years of Ted Williams and it's about 80 cards and I got 79 of them and there's a card number 68 of the Ted Williams set that is extremely rare and usually most of these sets don't come with the number 68 so this is the most interesting one that I've seen so far out of this whole collection. The Marvel I'm still unpacking honestly unpacking a lot of these items but there's still some binders that I need to go through and that right there which is seems to be the 1997 Dodgers ticket stubs luckily when I was purchasing all this stuff it was given to me for free got some more just items here Fleer tops upper deck i got some racing as well a ton of nascar over here the signed baseball that i'm currently looking into because it's very faded not sure what it is but i think i saw pete rose or something like that a recommendation from someone that mentioned that now to unpack all of these items wow i mean starting with stife stuffed animals there this one was interesting but was able to get these maynard arnett Wooden Dolls uh, is a set because we got um, at Mini and then we got Uncle Amos. Got his glasses right over here. Got some Holly carburetors. I got a four barrel and a two barrel right over here. This Star Wars Millennial Fa Falcon carrying case with a bunch of action figures from Star Wars. So that's pretty interesting. Oh, this one's an interesting one here. So I was able to get this Grey Digger Hot Wheels RC, but it's been mispackaged with a Superman RC. So not sure what that's worth, but probably rare. But this one is still hasn't been even opened. Still has the tape. I got a ton of coins, just tons. I don't even know where to start here. So still unpacking. These are all a bunch of coins. I mean, hundreds of different coins. What else do we got here? We got Snoopy over there. One interesting that thing that I found was these was these microfilm publications from the Nat National Archives of the United States. These are um, seems like like census 1860. Like a ton of these. Like I mean 20, 25, 30 of them. Oh, this flag is I mean so awesome. Let me let me actually pull it out so I can show you. It's an old school. I mean, look at the 
It is so old, I'm not even sure, but even the, the quality of the flag is just seems that there's some history behind this one. Got these other Tonka trucks. I got an aerial ladder one and then the standard carrier. It has the original trucks with them as well. I got these old school little bears. They're sleeping baby bear. We got telephone bear and then we got this one over here. The boxes are a little roughed up. Got some Mickey Mouse. Oh, this 101 Dalmatian. It's a case with all of the Dalmatians. There's a lot more. Some cards in there. We got some other little Mickey Mouse stuff in here. It's like a watch. We got some pins. Daryl Walt Trip. We got Mickey Mouse as I mentioned. Wizard of Oz. Some more Star Wars, got a Ferrari, a Cobra, original, it's a model car. All of this stuff came from one place. This is a gentleman I came across um, as I was looking for garage sales, went to his place and just like was there for like, I think seven, eight hours, just diving into a lot of these cool things. He was sharing some of his stories of what he was able to do, but again, not to get too into that. And one of the things that I'm, I'm kind of jumping into is one man's trash. Uh, dot 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 is kind of my motto right now so most people know the saying one man's trash is another man's treasure so that's kind of the concept I'm going here is that these items were just sitting around collecting dust and hopefully we can turn to that and bring it to someone that will treasure it so I can only imagine how so many of these items were things that you grew up with and bringing that back into the forefront of our current culture and, and being able to again bring back memories and, and nostalgia that will hopefully bring someone to a smile and bring someone to excitement and happiness because they were able to find a rare Skippy All-American Sailor doll that was something they played with back in the day or which this actually says it's not a it's not meant for it's not a toy so scratch that one Bruh. like let's start with like a stife teddy bear like someone that was in love with stife and had these when they were growing up and being able to bring this back to someone or find a home for someone that is going to share this with their kids or their family so yeah that's kind of like the fun part here and um what i'm enjoying about it and so let's see what happens here follow me along at garage the profit hit that subscribe button let me know what you guys think enjoy peace Alright, whoa, 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 that was a great garage sale, but I just want to interrupt real quick to get you up to speed on what I was doing a week prior to this garage sale. I had went to my first one, I spent about $120, I definitely have already made my money back on what I spent initially at this first garage sale. Got a good amount of items, I got about 49 individual items, some of those were double ups of the or multiples of that exact same item. And then just using also a lot of my personal items, which I've already sold a good amount of those as well. So let's go ahead and jump into the next section of this video, which is gonna talk about what I was doing after this second garage sale, which I went to an estate, which was a movie was filmed in. Super interesting, let's go. This estate was up in Beverly Hills where the bodyguard movie was filmed at. Will you grab that jacket for me, the red one, please? I'm here to keep you alive, not help you shop. So it was really cool to be like walking the estate and then later on seeing the movie and being like, oh wow, we were like in that area or in that scene when it was filmed. So super interesting. Instead of trying to explain it, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, everyone. So today is going to be, um, what's today? Saturday. Saturday the 20th. 21st. No, no, 20th. Saturday the 21st. Bruh. This is my third garage sale or like garage haul. And we're in Beverly Hills. So we'll see what we do. This is an estate sale specifically. So we'll see how it goes. We have a couple stops and we'll see what we do. Crazy house, crazy. Honestly, everything seems to be pretty like priced out already. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna find anything I can, that's gonna be productive.
Okay. Let's show them my dirty car. Wasn't that great, but the good thing was we had $50 to spend because there's an entrance fee that go to apply to what you purchase. So we try to find stuff that was gonna get us to $50 because everything else was like, in my opinion, was overpriced or just already priced out. So there wasn't any meat there or anything that you could technically, you know, kind of bring to market value and, and flip. So with that being said, we did find some, not gonna believe it, mugs. You already know, mug life. Hashtag the mug life. And then that was basically it. Oh, there was this cool little Tiffany Co. tennis ball. We'll see how that goes. Let's see what we do with all this. Not too happy. It's already getting late, so we can check out a couple more and see what we can find. Oh my gosh. My bad, bro. Illegal driving. That's what you get. As Gary Vee said, you ain't doing garage selling if you ain't doing illegal driving. Illegal driving is really at the core <laughs> of garage selling. If you're not willing to illegally drive, the jersey you then you might as well, you might as well uh, not come out. the second garage sale see how it goes second garage sale of the day I was able to get these safety stove candles um, non-alcohol they seem pretty old and interesting so we'll see what happens this Odyssey two ball putter that one I, I did it up it looked a little interesting Snoopy always sells so gotta gotta go with the Snoopy check it out and this whole bowl matches match matches there are a bunch of boxes of matches vintage we'll see what we can get the bowl it came with the bowl as well so all of this for $50 so let's see what we can do third garage sale was a bust nothing really good there lady was talking too much and I don't mean to be rude but I was trying to like get out of there and she like kept wanting to have a conversation but she's an artist she was an artist yes and she wanted to talk about her art and her vlogging she saw my camera but we're off to our what is it fourth fourth location I think they were just gonna do the four because it's getting a little too late. All right, fourth one. Seems like no one's here. I'm gonna go check it out. <laughs> Seems like they closed up, so. Uh, that's what happens when you show up late. Don't get, you don't get all the fun, the fun stuff. So that's that. That happened to be my third time going garage selling. Since then, I have been able to hit a Goodwill, which I picked up a couple more items at. At that point, this is kind of where I'm at moving forward. I am looking to find a better structure in just my day to day and in terms of sourcing, listing, and just content creation. So that's kind of been what I'm doing. So I'm trying to streamline all of that. I'll be updating you guys on some of the things I've been selling through all of these hauls. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and give me a like, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace.